Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. So today is the day I am finally getting my 256 gig Pacific Blue iPhone 12 Pro. So this week's video is going to be me picking up unboxing and setting up the phone and so right now i'm about to go to the eaton center to pick it up and i wanted to take you guys with me so let's do that Okay, so I'm in the vicinity of the Eaton Center right now. As you guys might have seen from the dash cam footage, I did go into the parking garage, but I'm early. It's currently 12.52, and I got to the parking garage at maybe 12.48, right? And my window to pick up the phone is from 1 to 1.15. So if you're in the Young Parkade parking garage for 20 minutes or less, the amount for parking is $4.25. If you're in there for up to an hour, I think it's $10, right? So in order to not pay as much parking, I don't wanna get there early and then sit there and then I end up owing more money at the end. So I wanna get into the parking garage at one o'clock and then hopefully go into the mall, get my phone by 115 and then get out of there before 120 so i don't want to get to the parking garage early because that means i'll be there longer and therefore i will owe more money and i don't want to owe more money so yeah right now i'm in this public parking lot on victoria which is really close to the eaton center and as far as i know no one's on duty so like this parking lot is a $20 flat rate. Uh -huh. No, I'm not paying that. But since there's no one on duty and there's just the machine, then maybe I could potentially, or maybe someone is on duty and he's coming over to me right now. Hold on. Okay, someone's coming over. I have to leave. Oop, someone is on duty. But basically, if no one was on duty, I probably could have left my car here and just run over to the Eden Center and pick up the phone, but that would be a little bit risky. But yeah, the guy was just like, oh, are you gonna come pay? Which I'm not, I'm not paying 20 bucks. I'm not paying 20 bucks. So I need to find somewhere else to wait until one o'clock, which is only six minutes, it's 12.54 now. So I need to find somewhere else to wait until one o'clock so that I can go back to the Young Parkade, pay $4.25, and then um, get my phone. So yeah. Okay, it's 1.03, I'm in the parking garage. I got my ticket, so I have until 1.23 to get in and out of here and only pay $4.25. So let's do that. So, I have my mask, and let's go inside and get an iPhone 12 Pro.
So I know the lighting is terrible, but I got the phone and I can't say much more because I have two minutes to get out of here before I get charged $10 instead of $4.25. So I'll see you when I get home. Okay, so I am home now, as you can see. I've been home for a couple of hours. It's currently 4.03, and I got home at around 2.11, but I had to take time to back up my old phone so that I could restore my new phone from the backup. So now that that is all done, I am going to unbox my new phone and set it all up for you guys. So as you guys can see, I got a bag from Apple that has the phone box in it, so let me just take this out and here we have the phone box and it looks even better in person <laughs> so they were saying how the box was going to be thinner than previous generations i couldn't find my iphone 8 box which is this phone right here but i did find my iphone 5s box so when you put them side by side you can definitely see that it is thinner because it doesn't contain the charging brick. So now let's open this up. So I can just pull on this plastic. And there we go. This is my first time ever unboxing an iPhone because every time I get it, I buy it through my phone company and they open it for me and set it up. So this is the first time I'm actually getting to unbox an iPhone. So we're going to go like so, and there we have it, face down. I really like this blue color. Oh my gosh, I really like it. And let's go like so, so we can take it out. Peel this back. And there is the Pacific Blue iPhone 12 Pro. So let me put that to the side for a second. Here where there would normally be a charging brick, there isn't. And then designed by Apple in California. And we have the SIM ejection tool, as well as one Apple sticker. And then here we have a charging cable with one side lightning and the other side is USB-C, which I don't really understand because Apple is talking about how they want to make the box smaller not include the brick because everybody and their mama has a brick yeah everybody and their mama has these bricks apple these bricks that you've been given out for years upon years upon years i totally forgot about all the usb-c charging bricks that apple has given me i totally forgot about those so this isn't really gonna work but i'll figure something out or i can just use the charger from my old phone because that'll work well too. So now let's pack this up, move this off to the side, and let's turn on the phone. Does it not come with any charge? Oh, I was about to say, what? They gave me a phone with 0%, but there we have it. It's turning on. Also, this is gonna be my first phone without a home button. Oh my gosh. So I had the iPhone 6 before I got the iPhone 8, and at the time the iPhone 10 was already out, but I didn't get it because that means I would have been giving up my headphone jack and home button at the same time. So I gave up the headphone jack with the iPhone 8, but then I wasn't ready to give up the home button, but now I've given it up. So here we have the phone. It says hello and swipe up to open. English. Canada. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. If your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show options for setting up this iPhone, make sure it's running iOS 11 or later and has Bluetooth turned on. You can also set up this phone manually. I don't know what that means. So I can just bring this phone close and then 
use my Apple ID to set up my new iPhone. Continue. What? Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. So like this? Oh, this way, the back camera, okay. Enter the passcode of my iPhone, and then it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. This is new. This is new. I, this, I did not do this with my other iPhones. Hmm. Hmm. Continue. Face ID. I don't think I want to set up face ID yet. Like, I'll, I'll just stick to a passcode for now. So I'll set it up later. Apple ID password. Agree. So I want to restore. I can transfer directly from iPhone? That's a thing? Hold the phone. Transfer directly from iPhone. So I didn't have to back up my old phone? Whoa! So am I done with this? Because it says my Apple ID has been transferred over here. But this is saying transfer directly from iPhone. Hold up. You don't have to back up your iPhone anymore and then restore from a backup? Wait a second. Bring it close. Bring your current iPhone. So this is the same screen as before. Bruh, it's as close as it's gonna get. Well, now that's not working. Okay, I guess we're setting it up manually because that's not working. Set up later. Transfer directly from iPhone. <laughs> like, how much closer can they get? Okay, fine. So there is a way to do it directly from iPhone, but I don't know how. Like, it's not working. It did it before. You saw when it connected my two Apple IDs. But now when I'm trying to transfer the apps, it's not working. It says that I need to be on iOS 11 or later. I'm on iOS 12 on this phone and my Bluetooth needs to be turned on and it is. So that's not gonna work. So sorry, iPhone 8. Set up manually, forget Face ID, restore from Mac or PC. So that's what I'm gonna do which is what I intended to do originally. I'm glad that there's a new way to do it, but I don't know how. And it's, it's just not working for me. So I'm going to connect to Mac or PC with iTunes. So I'm gonna take my old phone charger, which is not an official Apple charger, but oh well, oh well. And I'm going to plug it into my computer. So it says, a software update is required to connect to your iPhone. Would you like to download and install this update now? Use of this software is subject to the original software license agreements that accompanied the software being updated. Install, I suppose. So I'm assuming it's going to install iOS 14, which I never had on my iPhone 8. Because one, I don't know if it was available for the iPhone 8. And two, even if it was... I didn't have any space on my phone, <laughs> so I couldn't have updated even if I wanted to. So close application and install. So now the iPhone has shown up right here and whoa, okay. Um, so I would like to restore from backup from the iPhone 8 backup that I just made at 328. So continue. I have read it even though let's be honest, I have not. Continue. And then it's going to restore from backup. Restore in progress. So I'll just fast forward through this for you guys. Okay, so it has finished and it says the settings, 
For your iPhone have been restored, please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear in the iTunes window after it restarts. So there you can see the iPhone is restarting. And there, swipe up to upgrade. And then let me put in my password. And here is my iPhone 12 Pro on my computer. But as you can see, it says the name of it is Olivia's iPhone 8 because it was restored from my iPhone 8. So after I get into the phone, I will change it to Olivia's iPhone 12. I'll change the name of the device later on. Another thing I want to say is when I was leaving the Apple store and I was coming out of the parking garage, I was like in a rush, like, oh, I have to get out. I only have two more minutes or else I'm going to get charged $10 instead of $4.25. But it turns out it ended up being free. I literally just took the little slip that they gave me and I put it in the machine. But then I was expecting to put my credit card into the machine, but then I didn't have to and it just let me out for free. So that was pretty cool. So now the phone is open and it's telling me hello in various languages. And then if I swipe up, password again, restore complete, apps and data will continue downloading in the background. And then I will connect to my Wi-Fi and also my Apple ID, updating iCloud settings. And then I have to set up my Apple Pay. I'll do all that later. Mm, nope, not sharing with Siri. Don't share. Appearance, select a light or dark appearance and see how I was adjust depending on which you choose. Okay, I kind of like the dark with the, oh, I don't know, I like it. I like the dark, continue. Welcome to iPhone swipe up to get started. And there, iTunes sync in progress. And all of my <laughs> emails are telling me that I need to sync the passwords, which I will do later. And then it says no SIM card installed. So now I have my iPhone eight and I'm just going to take off the case and with the phone I got a sim ejection tool so let me just use that so I'm going to take out my sim card so really tiny <laughs> and then take out the sim tray on this phone which is on the other side and near the bottom Move the SIM card over. To this phone. One thing I want to check is if when I connect to data, if it'll say 5G or not. To get to the control center on my old phone, it was swiping up. But now since swiping up is the home button, it's swiping down from the right and then down from the left is your notifications. I know that everyone else knows this, but I don't know this because I've been using my iPhone 8 for the past two years, and so I've never had a phone without a home button before, so I'm learning things. Anyways, I scroll from the top and turn off my Wi-Fi and then turn on my data. It says LTE, it does not say 5G, and maybe it's because I'm not in a 5G zone, but yeah, we'll see if I, if I'm ever downtown again, like I was downtown when I picked up the phone, but um, I'm not currently downtown. I don't live downtown. So maybe if I'm in one of those core areas, I'll connect to 5G. But as of right now, it's just LTE. So yeah, and as you can see, I have the same background and everything. I've had the same background since my iPhone 6, so maybe even my iPhone 5S. Ooh, I don't even know. So I'm going to customize everything later and then do the whole iOS 14 with the widgets. I don't think I'm gonna do the color coding stuff because I just, I don't feel like it. But yeah, I will have some widgets and stuff and I'll, add more stuff later on but this is just the basic setup and I have all my stuff from my old phone over here I might even have the pictures as well I do here we have it this is my 
Pacific Blue 256 gig iPhone 12 Pro. And I really like the color. And as you can see, I don't currently have a phone case. I didn't buy one of the Apple cases um, because I don't really care about the MagSafe case. I really don't care. Um, so I bought a different case and that is coming in the mail, and when I get it, I'll do an unboxing of that, but for the meantime, because that case isn't gonna come for a few days, and so in the meantime, I have to take extra, extra, extra care of this phone, because as you can see from my old phone, this is just the screen protector, so the actual screen is fine, but like, it, it's it's been a little rough, it's been a little rough, and like, <laughs> look at my iPhone 4, Ah, look at this this was from a car that's a whole other story for a whole other day I think I already told the story before long story short my phone got run over by a car but believe it or not it still works so yeah <laughs> that's what my iPhone 4 looks like so clearly I might not take the best care of my phone <laughs> so I really need to take extra 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 care of this $1,700 phone this phone costs more than my laptop because I bought my laptop secondhand I bought my Mac for $1,000 flat and this was $1,700 okay so I need to take extra 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 care of this until my case finally comes in but yeah also one more thing I want to say the back of this phone feels like the top of a Mac. So you know how on the new Macs, how the Apple logo doesn't light up? So it's like this like matte feeling finish on the top and then the Apple logo is like this little glossy thing and it feels different. It feels exactly the same. Like the back of this phone feels the same as the top of my Mac. Like this part feels the same as this and the Apple logos feel the same. So that's just something I wanted to point out because I haven't heard anyone say that yet. So that's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that this was a long time coming because I ordered the phone over six weeks ago. And if you watched my video from last week, then you know that this isn't even the one I ordered. I had to cancel that one and then order a different one in order to get it because the original one I ordered just wasn't coming. So yeah, I know it's been a long time coming for this whole thing and the unboxing and the setup and all the stuff I said I was gonna do, but I said I was going to do it and I did. So here's the video and I hope that it's everything you wanted it to be but I am so happy with the phone so far I know I literally haven't even really used it yet but I love it like look at the blue like come on look at that this is my first time getting a blue iPhone every other iPhone I've had has been the black and or space gray version and I'm really happy with this phone so far so that's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you think your friends will enjoy it, be sure to share it with them. All my social media links will be down below in case you want to follow me on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday. And I'll see you next Monday with a new video.